Yes, he does. And, and Drake better start recovering from this here. You know, the one thing about this match that Dylan Drake has to know going into is the competition is so stiff in APW that there are so many title contenders that, you know, he may not necessarily get another shot at this title. This might be it right here. That's right. you got to wonder what's going through the mind of Dylan Drake right now. As you mentioned, on the APW roster, very, very deep with talent and contenders. As you said, this could be his last shot, and he's not faring very well right now. No, he's not. But he's wearing him down. You know, some of the guys with the big upper bodies, they love doing a chin lock or a, a variation of a chin lock because they just put all their weight on that. And, and it just places a, a complete stress. Like, look at his knee right in back in the back there on his spine, you know. Just puts too much stress on the spine. Referee Tom Caster forcing Malachi to break the hold. And right before we did, a little grip to the eyes there, Rowan. Well, yeah. That's what they do in, in, in brawls, you know, they, they, they'll gouge your eye out if they have to. That's what he has to avoid, Jason, that boot to the head. That's his, that's his big, that's his meal ticket. That's 260 pounds coming right at your skull there. Not many men can get up from that. Malachi looking for the back body drop, but Drake counters and he comes back and takes out the left leg of Malachi the champion. His game plan is consistent, Jason, because he keeps trying to chop down that tree, and rightfully so. He's going to need to do that, and again, those shots to the legs of Malachi will pay off later in the match if Drake is able to apply the sharpshooter. Looking for the big splash, but Malachi catches Drake, showing off his power and strength. Oh, a nice, nice counter nice by nice Dylan Drake. He is reeling right now, Roland. DDT sending the skull of Malachi to the mat. Now referee Tom Caster working the count. Who's going to get up to their feet first here? They need to get to their knees by the count of ten or they're going to be counted out. The crowd showing their support here, enjoying this match. They're emotionally behind Dylan Drake. They want to see Dylan regain that title. Both men stumbling back to their feet drake off against the ropes flying forearm there off against the ropes again another flying oh that was a flying shoulder block excuse me oh i thought he was gonna go for his uh okay now he's going for it he's trying to lock in that sharpshooter he has it locked let's see if he can turn the big man over that's the one thing he, he'll lock this many a time but will he be able to turn the big guy over you see, Malachi is just going to punch his way out of this one. Malachi shots to the head. See, I don't think Malachi's hurt enough to put this sharpshooter on. See, Malachi just proved again. Sending Drake into the corner. Drake is able to counter. He's got the roll up here. Nope. He's looking for the sharpshooter again, rolling. Well, you got to stay on him, and that's what he's doing. He's not letting up. That makes, that keeps Malachi on the defense, Jason. Malachi trying to counter, but he can't. Drake is able to turn the 265 pounder. He has it locked in. Fans are behind him. This could be it. This could be it. Dylan could get this belt back. Drake is cinching on that sharpshooter right now. He really is. Look at him leaning back. He's arching. As much as he can, he's arching. Malachi, not much room to work with here, Roland. He's seeming to work his way over to the ropes. Well, he's close can he get rope. it? He should be able to get there. He's close enough. But I don't know. Oh, he's, he's got, got it. it. He got it. He's got it. Drake say, forced to let go of the hold there. I was going to say it depends on how well he's got that locked in. But Dylan looks like he's exhausted, though. It's taking everything out of Dylan to just stay even with Malachi. And make no doubt about it, fans, that is a large man there in Malachi. It takes a lot of strength just to turn him over to lock in that sharpshooter. That's right. Malachi, Oof, reversal, buried that knee. knee to the midsection there, elbow to the back of the head. He buried that knee. He's, he's setting him up, and I don't have to tell you what he's setting him up for. And Drake comes back, looking for the sharpshooter again here, Roland. The best way to keep somebody on the defense is to go on offense, and that's what Dylan Drake's doing. Now, you notice he's, he, he moved a little, he edged over towards the corner a little bit, and I think he did that purposely so Malachi could be facing the center of the ring and not necessarily be close to the ropes. And again, the referee right on top of the Ashkin here. Drake has that sharpshooter since in again, sitting back, well, he using have, all his weight. He doesn't have that ankle locked real good. He needs to have a better lock on that ankle. Oh, Derek Sanders, the boss, comes out. A shot to the head to Dylan Drake. 
Derek Sanders interfering in this match. Are you sure it was Derek? I couldn't even see. It happened so quick, I couldn't even see who it was. That was Derek Sanders. I recognize those sparkly tights anywhere. Big boot to the face of Dylan Drake by the champion. Wow, that thought of... I was thinking it might have had... Malachi with the cover. One, two, three. Wow. Are you, are you sure it was Dylan Drake or uh, Derek Sanders? That, Drake is out. That big boot leveled Dylan Drake, and I am positive that was Derek Sanders. I, will, I wouldn't have been surprised, Jason, to, to see uh, someone from the association, like a Vinny Massaro or a Dalton Frost. There he is. There he is. That, it was Derek Sanders. The boss, his ego, again, could not contain the fact that Dylan Drake, the sexiest wrestler, and remembering those words and the insults thrown by Drake to Sanders, the boss loving down the punches, all over, Drake. all over an internet poll for the, I mean, I just can't believe someone takes something like that that serious. But I guess Derek Sanders with his ego would. Jekyll's a gesture in the ring now, trying to come to the aid of Dylan Drake, but Malachi meets him, and Sanders on top of Jekyll's. Sanders and Malachi sending a message to Dylan Drake and Jekyll's adjuster and the rest of APW right now, Roland. Oh, and Malachi's got uh, Jekyll's in the corner. He can't do anything to help Sanders. And now Derek's just making, I mean, he's just adding salt to the wound there by slapping him around. Sanders, oh, and here comes Vinny oh, Massaro. I was wondering when he joined this. Vinny Massaro. I, I figured he might have been behind Sanders hitting the ring. Vinny Massaro, Malachi, and Sanders. This is an assault. Oh, Jody Christopherson comes to the ring now, Roland. Well, Jody Christopherson, there's Derek Sanders trying to choke the life out of Dylan Drake. Jody better watch. Dalton Frost hitting the ring. Better watch his This back. is a brawl, Roland. Because I know Vinny, Massar, but Vinny will go right after Jody Christopherson. This is escalated to an all-out brawl. Dylan Drake come back in the ring with the steel chair, chasing out the association with Derek like Sanders. All these wrestlers hit the ring, and finally, what, what happens? A chair hits the ring, and that chases everybody out. Sanders, Malachi, Massaro, and Frost. You gotta wonder if Drake didn't get that chair, what they were gonna continue to do. The association showing their unity here with Derek Sanders. Christopherson trying to help up Dylan Drake. Rolling this thing evolved into an all-out brawl. Man, I, I don't understand. Just the association's behind this. But listen, look at this. Next look, week. We're getting word here now, fans. Are you serious? Commissioner J.J. Perez has just made this match. Dylan Drake will lead Jody Christopherson, Jekyll's of Jester, and Omega against the association Derek Sanders rolling. And Team Drake. <laughs> wow, that's going to be one hot eight-man tag. You don't see eight-man tags out often, so make sure you tune in next Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on KFTY Channel 50, Digital 199. Don't miss all the action. What an event. What a great way to start off your Saturday morning, Roland. Dylan Drake, he is, has some um, ammunition now to take on Sanders and the Association. It's going to happen next week here at Jim Wars.